15 from Leisure Travel Vans. We're live in beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. I am up in a tree because I'm very excited because today we're going to have a look at the 2024 Wonder Murphy Bed Lounge, the perfect two-person coach. Sleeps too comfortably in a huge bed. Big, dry bathroom. Big TV. Lots of exterior storage. Lots of interior storage. I'm down the tree. Absolutely fantastic. Look how gorgeous that motorhome is. And if you love the outside, you're going to absolutely love the inside. This is the newest floor plan on the Wonder family. And it has a slide out. Come on, let's go inside. It is absolutely to die for. Hey, we've done some really great redesigns in the 2024 Wonder Murphy Bed Lounge from the 23 video. I can't wait to show them all to you. Let's just start off bang right here. We've got our leisure lounge chairs, power recliners on both sides. That is absolutely to die for. Kick back and relax. Like I said, this is the perfect two person motorhome. So I have the leisure lounge chair on this side and I have the leisure lounge chair on this side right here just to quickly show you you can just see how it goes up and down very comfortable but here's one of the big redesigns from the 23 video look i have a day bed right or i have a sofa i can just kick back and relax like a sofa i can have a little day bed here just sit back and chill right i can use it as a chaise lounge absolutely look at this so i really love this redesign from 2023 to now 2024 on the wonder murphy bed lounge but this is so comfortable so relaxing absolutely fantastic hey and if i want to watch tv hello bang 40 inch TV pops up and also our 40 inch TV is a smart TV as well so you can stream your favorite Netflix or video shows that you want stream leisure travel vans you can watch me on the big screen absolutely fantastic I can watch it from my comfortable chair here I can watch it from the chaise lounge on this side chaise lounge on that side if you have some friends over you can just sit on the sofa area here right or if you want to sit from the driver passenger seats because both of our swivels turn and face into the motorhome I can watch TV this way how smart is that plus sound bar streaming Bluetooth subwoofer kicking back and relaxing in your power recliner both sides of our chairs I have USB charging ports and USB-C and wireless charging on both seats I've also got some storage area here for magazines or your iPad they're on both sides so if you have a sleep apnea machine you can plug it in because I have an inverted plug on that side as well plus if you want to enjoy the big beautiful view of that ocean behind me there or in front of me I can put the TV down I can watch the TV down low and still enjoy all those beautiful sailboats sailing in the Atlantic Ocean let's talk about colors right we have three different wood colors this is white oak we have rift oak and we also have mocha and you can also do white up upper cabinets if you'd like here but this if you don't do the white uppers as an option then you of course get the uh, color of the wood on the upper cabinets and speaking of the upper cabinets look how beautiful they are curved European hidden hinges soft clothes we've got three different ultra fabrics colors this is sand we have dove and clay we also have two different countertops this is Antarctica white we also do concrete Let's make it into a dining room area. The MBL is absolutely the most multifunctional motorhome. It is like a Swiss army knife of fun. Look at this. This will be new for the 2024 video from the 2003 video. Nice, beautiful table. I absolutely love it. Plus, you're going to absolutely love we've got a landscape window full time, right? On the standard Murphy bed back on the Unity, right? It covered the window. Now we don't cover the window. So you've got a full time landscape window on style window so you can open up get some cross ventilation in the motorhome some fresh air and natural natural light I mean we have lots of natural light here in Florida absolutely fantastic so I love that this is actually fantastic look at this we flip this up boom we do the same thing on that side I now have dinner area work desk playing cards at night two places to sit face each other you got built-in cup holders absolutely fantastic you can use it actually for watching the TV right so I got my cup, I got my popcorn, and I still have my leisure lounge chairs, right? Absolutely fantastic. Look at this. I like it, right? So you can still use the table 
for watching TV, you can put your snacks, drinks, kick back and relax, watch TV. And to prop the TV up and down, look, you just do that. Automatically goes up and then pushes it back down. And then on this side, we have USB-C and USB charging ports right there. This is your switch for your chair, very nice. And then we have some more USB, USB-C chargers there and inverted plug as well. And we do it over on the entertainment center on that side as well. So you have lots of charging ports, lots of inverted plugs. We finished dinner, it's evening, we're gonna go to sleep now. I wanna show you in real time how easy this is, goes from dining room area, sofa area into a bed area. Look at this, you can put your clock on me, put your timer watch on me. Let's do that, because we're gonna do this live time. Live time. Look at this, so simple. Down it goes, move that one cushion, move this cushion, look at that, two cushions done. This flips up, locks in place. We have two secondary locks here and here, locks the motorhome, bed, boom, comes down. Look at this, hello. Bedtime. How fast was that? And I could do it even faster than that if I had to. Oh yes, foam mattress, super comfortable. I have a little afternoon nap here in Florida. And if you didn't want to have an afternoon nap, look at this, built-in headrests. Oh, 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 how great is that? Reading lights, hello. Super comfortable, right? And look at this, I can even watch TV in bed, presto. We have our multiplexing system that runs the entire motor room, secondary panel here, right? So I can control the lights that are right here. I can turn all the lights on. I can turn all the lights off, right? I can dim the lights by holding the light, right? So the control section here will run the lights in this area because I've got LED lights. Your uh, reading lights are manually turned off and on, right? We have one on this side and we have one on that side. Over here, I've got our awning style windows, which I absolutely love. So you can have some ventilation coming into the motor home. Even at night, you can pull down your shade at night block off any light at all. So you have two of them, one on the left side, one on the right hand side. And then we mentioned earlier, we also have our built-in headrests on both sides, super comfortable. I love that. And we got our reading light over on that side as well. So we have all these great things. This is a walk around island bed, slide out, out. Look at this, I can slide out. I'm not gonna bother my significant other on this side or whoever's sleeping over there. And look at this, I can go to the bathroom. I can go to the fridge, right? I can come back because it's an island bed. It's an island bed, just like you have at home, residential. Absolutely fantastic. Plus you can have the slide out in bed down. So let's just say you're stopping at a rest stop and you're not allowed to have your slide outs out and you're tired. Have your slide out in and you want to bring the bed down. Look at this. We can bring the bed down. We have our slide out completely in, right? Look at that. Once again, you know, rest stop, uh, Walmart. If you're just pulling over on the side of the road, you have a little nap, right? You don't want to put your slide out out. Not a problem. Daytime, sun's out. We gotta get some stuff done, boom. Let's bring the bed back up. I wanna do this once again in full real time. We're gonna leave all of our bedding on there. We're gonna put our pillows up at the top. Look at that. Lock it in place. And then boom, boom, boom. Up it goes. And lock it down. Up we go. And look at this. I've now got a sofa area, right? Or I can make it into a dinette area, but I'm right back to a normal area. Like I said, multifunctional. Dining room area, sofa area, chaise lounge, bed area. So you have four different sitting areas in a Wonder Murphy bed lounge. We have the lounge chairs there, plus we order the swivel seats from Ford so we can actually turn our seats, driver passenger seats, and they become part of the motorhome. You can see how easy it is to get in and out of the motorhome. Plus, we have the extension here at the front, so we have one piece floor front to back so you're not gonna fall and trip over yourself. And speaking of that, look at this beautiful linoleum down here. It looks like ceramic tile. I actually always get on my hands and knees because it sure think it is ceramic tile. Looks like ceramic tile. I'll just sweep out the dirt and look how much room I have, right? I could do Pilates. Hey, back in the day, I could do aerobics, right? Absolutely aerobics. We can do some snow angels, right? Except I'm in Florida. What do they call them in Florida? We call them snow angels in Canada. 
<laughs> if you order the optional front table that goes between the driver and passenger seats, we store it right here. This is a really nice option, right? A little table that goes in between our driver passenger seats. I really, really like it. Just gonna lock it in place. Look at that. So I've got a nice little table here. It turns, it swivels. I can use it as a computer desk. Really, really smart. So if you or somebody was sleeping in bed in the morning and you wanted to get up, have coffee, watch TV, because my TV turns and swivels, or you want to do some work on your laptop or your computer, or you want to read, you just want to have a snack, you want to have two friends over for dinner and you want to have them sit over here, right? They can have dinner here. Absolutely, it's a smart little option on the Wonder Murphy Bed Lounge. Hey, storage is really important, especially the smaller the motorhome, usually the less storage we have. We have lots of storage. Look at this, beautiful storage area here, storage area up top. We also have storage area here. We also have easy access right here. We talked about it a little earlier. This is where our subwoofer is, right? Right underneath there, very cool but lots and lots of storage. This is also our entertainment area when I want to put in uh, our optional satellite dishes, right? The T4 wine guard does dish director bell. You'd put the receiver here. We've got inverted plugs here as well. So we have HDMI plugs for a PlayStation, an Xbox. So nice little storage area for all your entertainment things. Hey, let's have a look up on the ceiling here. Ducted air conditioner on the 2024 Murphy Bed Lounge. So I have ducted air, woohoo, all the way into the bathroom area all the way back into the living area. Diffused LED lighting throughout the entire motorhome. Very, very nice. Plus you can dim it. And of course our beautiful opening skylight. Look at that. It's pretty warm today. I'm going to have the air in, but I don't want the sun. Or if you have some bugs, mosquitoes, flies, stuff you don't want to come in the motorhome and you still want some fresh air. Look at that. Or you can go half and half as well. But look at that, absolutely beautiful. I love all that beautiful Florida sunshine, right? The sunshine state, absolutely. So we have a Firefly multiplexing system that runs the entire motorhome. This is the main control panel. So this can tell me what's going on in the control panel right now. You can see I've got 77% propane full, empty gray, empty black, and we have a little bit of fresh water as well, right? I can turn on my water pump here. I can also turn on my generator here and control all my lights and everything right here, right? I can individually turn a light on or off if you hold the button you can then dim the light right you can turn all your lights off with the master switch off turn all the lights back on very important is you can download the app and you can run it off of your smartphone that is very very cool so you can control the motorhome off the smartphone over here we've got our auto gen start so four kilowatt generator is standard so now we have auto gen start kind of set up to do a few different things Probably the two big ones is you can set it by time for a campground. Generators can only be on at a certain time, turn off. You can set it by time, it'll automatically turn off, it'll automatically turn back on. You can also set it, which is really important, I think if you have pets, cats, dogs, whatever your pets are, birds, in the motorhome, you're going out for the day, and you wanna make sure they're okay. And what you would do is set the auto gen start for the air conditioner to come on at a certain temperature. When that it hits that temperature, boom, generator comes on, air conditioner comes on, cools down the motorhome so the pets are nice and safe. So auto gen start, that's standard on all Wonder Motorhomes for 2024. Then we also have our temperature settings for the air conditioner as well, just kind of like you would have at home, a thermostat, right? So I have my uh, Vario heat furnace, so I can then turn the furnace on for a certain temperature. If it's cool, it'll automatically come on, runs on propane, keep the motor home nice and warm. We also have our Truma air conditioner up on the roof, and uh, we can set that as well for temperature. It's nice and pin quiet. It'll also run on a 15 amp plug, which is really, really good. You have a night and you have a dehumid settings as well. And right here you can see we have our Truma icon, so you can actually control your Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater right there. And then we have our different settings for our fans. So we always leave it on auto, but you can manually move the fan if you want in the air conditioner. So I love the multiplexing system. And we also have secondary panels throughout the motorhome that control certain areas of the motorhome as well. And you're gonna like this, we cut out into the chassis area here. So I have easy access in and out of the motorhome, plus some storage up in this area here. Okay, we have a little storage here and we have a little hidden compartment here with our Wi-Fi booster and TV antenna. This is how you would turn it on right here. So we have a 2.0 WineGuard TV antenna booster up on the roof, so it does Wi-Fi. You can order 4G signal service from WineGuard. You'd pay for that service, or you can get a secondary SIM card, put it in the Wi-Fi booster from your telephone supplier, and you would be then your own walking hotspot. And then this is how you boost your TV antenna. You can see when the green lights are on, you are boosting your TV antenna, and when the green light is on here, you are boosting your Wi-Fi signal. 
So over here, we've got an inverted plug as well. So if you want to plug something in that you may need to invert, you can just plug it in right there as well. Storage is important. Once again, we have some nice big storage areas up here. Once again, European hidden hinges, right? Soft closed. The curved door looks fabulous. This is done in white oak. We also have the optional white Fenix uppers if you want to go that route. Soft closed there. That closes in place. Look at this big picture window overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, fantastic. Once again, awning style windows, so it can be pouring rain outside and I can still have fresh air coming in. Lots of time down here in Florida, I think it's raining, but it's still hot, right? We have our 12 volt battery disconnect on this side, but I like this ultra fabrics here, place here for hanging your jackets. Handle for coming in and out of the motor room, fire extinguisher, and you're gonna love this little feature. Look at this, I have a place to put my shoes. I don't have to put them in the step well. That way I don't fall out of the step well when I step on them. I can put my shoes away. Absolutely fantastic, love it. Privacy at night, look at this. So I can just close my door and I can just magnet this right on and look at that, I have nice privacy at night. You can see a little magnet keeps that closed and then I also have the built-in nightshades come down, look at that. And they lock in place so you don't have, the wind can be blowing a little bit, some breeze, right? But you still have nighttime privacy. And just above the entrance door, we have a few things that don't run off of the multiplexing system. We have our Solar panel option, 200 watts or 400 watt solar panel controller right here. And this is our Truma controller, the Truma furnace and the Truma hot water heater. Right here we have our slide out. So when you're moving the slide out in and out, always be looking at the slide out, right? Just wanna make sure it's not gonna damage anything. And then cold weather, we have our heaters for our standard 200 amp lithium battery. So you only wanna put that on when it's 36, 35, 34 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, put that on to keep those warm so they'll take and give a charge. And if you're dry capping, here's our controller for our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. You would turn that on and that takes the 12 volt batteries and switches them over to 120 volts so that you can run electronics and things like that, watch TV. That's what that is designed to do. You only wanna do that when you're dry camping. And we need some more storage. Look at this, a beautiful hanging closet. It's even got a place here to hang my jacket, adjustable shelves. You can move them out and make that full hanging. Absolutely great, I love that place for the jacket. Very smart. Storage, full drawer extension glides, soft close. More storage, once again, soft close. And this is where we have our Breaker box and our fuse box, easy access to that. Let's do some cooking. Look at the size of this galley. The Murphy Bed Lounge has got one big galley. I don't even know where to start. First, solid surface, Corian countertops, two different colors, Antarctica, we also do concrete. We have our beautiful picture frame window, awning style windows, nighttime shade as well, right? Absolutely fantastic. Look how much room you have for cooking. Hey, let's start right here. This is kind of where you could put your Keurig machine or whatever you want. It goes extremely deep down there. That looks fantastic. And then look at this, our two burner spark ignition stove, right? Want to fire it up? Look at that, fires right up. Ooh, does that get hot quick? So make sure that that's completely off. Oh, I burnt my hand. And then before you close this, right? So built-in splash guard, right? Very, very nice. And then right here we have our deep stainless steel sink, chrome faucet, very nice. That's just gonna go in there. And then right here, I love this. This is where you can drip dry your dishes. How smart is that? Leave it there. Very, very smart. I love that little creation there. And right here we have our cutlery drawer right here. That closes there. Look at this, full water filtration on all of the Wonder Motorhomes charcoal filter. Once again, soft close and look at this nice big deep pot and pan drawer. Very nice. And what would a leisure travel van be without the new redesigned pull out pantry all done with aluminum. Very nice. Even got our logo. Look how big it is. Put lots of stuff in here, right? Lots of Jenny Craig diet stuff for Dean's going to go in there next. Absolutely. And then here we've got a place here for our garbage can and then easy access to our Truma Aquago Comfort Plus hot water heater and easy access to our Truma furnace. And then you can see down here we have vented heating with our Truma furnace as well throughout the entire motorhome. How about some upper storage as well? Look at this nice big storage area in here like nice big plates, right? Plates can fully fit in here. That's really important. I always tell customers, if the cabinet's not big enough, it's not a cabinet. <laughs> it's just some woodwork. This is nice big deep cabinet. Once again, European hidden hinges, soft close, boom, boom. Up here, we've got our fantastic fan. Runs on 12 volts, but look how much power it produces. Boom, hit that and... 
That's actually just fun. Moves a lot of air. So if you're cooking all the air out of the motorhome, if you're dry camping at night, you want to get the warm air out of the motorhome, you can turn on your two, two fantastic fans, bring all the warm air out, and then you can just close it down, simple press of the button. A really great kitchen. I actually love the accessory channel. Paper towel holder, two thumbs up. Ooh, paper towel holder. Place here for spices, stainless steel backsplash, inverted plug. Once again, if you've got a coffee maker, toaster, you want to run it in your dry camping, you can run that off of your 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Convection microwave, absolutely, right? It's a standard microwave like you would have at home for popping popcorn, warming up stuff. It's also an oven so you can bake pizza, you can bake bread, you can bake a chicken. You know what? We always talk about this. That's always a good example, right? Take that microwave plate. Does it fit in the cabinet? Absolutely, because if it doesn't fit, you must have quit, Psh, get rid of it. Next, we've got our brand new 12 volt fridge on all Wonder Motorhomes for 2024. 6.3 cubic foot fridge, lots of room, lots of shelves built in. Plus I love this feature, the actual freezer is down below. It runs on 12 volt, you don't have to be level. This is a super energy efficient fridge. I would suggest that you take the 400 watts of solar if you're a dry camper, because it's always gonna be trickle charging those house batteries. And look at this, I have a completely three piece dry bathroom with a beautiful pocket door that slides across and gives me lots of privacy. I've actually got an air conditioned bathroom because we got ducted air. Come on in and let's have a look at this. Most RV manufacturers don't wanna talk about the bathroom because they don't have one. They have a wet bath where you sit on the toilet to shower, not on this bad boy. Hey, I'm in the stand-up shower and thank goodness I'm not naked. <laughs> but look at the size of this shower, glass doors, frosted, but look how much room that you have. I mean, seriously, this is big. I am 6'1", 6'2", tippy toes, what, can I get up to 6'3"? I still can't touch the skylight and I love the skylight. I can be showering and watching the palm trees in the background. Hey, look at our shower head, right? Comes across, we've got a little flow restrictor on it to kind of slow the flow down of water. So if you're dry camping, I'm not wasting water. I absolutely love that. That place here for my shampoos. I got beautiful LED lights so I can have lots of light if I'm showering at the nighttime. Got a place here for drip drying my towels or my bathing suit or some clothing. If you wash some clothes, you can drip dry them into the shower pan. That'll drip down into the uh, gray tank. So handle for getting in and out. Want to put a little towel in here, you can. But look at that beautiful glass shower doors. Two of them. We also have a beautiful China toilet, and this is a macerator toilet, so it churns up all the solids, shoots them into your black tank as a liquid. You can also adjust the flow on the amount of water that you want to use in the macerator toilet. This is an incredible toilet. We also have our secondary control panels, right? I got a fantastic fan up there, so if I want to move all the air out of the bathroom, if I'm showering, I can send all the air out. And I actually have a beautiful window in the bathroom with a privacy blind, so don't panic, and awning style so I can have some cross ventilation in the bathroom with some air coming from the kitchen back into here. I love this bathroom, it is so big, and I've got a dressing mirror for getting ready, and don't forget to check out our Leisure Travel Van store on our website. We have leisure gear, caps, hats, pens, you name it. When you're driving your Leisure Travel Van, you can be driving in Leisure Travel Van swag. You'll look fantastic, but I love the big mirror. We have a little bit of storage behind the vanity here for shampoos or deodorant stick or hair gel, not that I use any. I love the big vanity, right? Solid surface countertop. Once again, done in Antarctica. We also do concrete. This is solid Corian stainless steel sink, chrome faucet, accessories here for my toothpaste, toothbrush, things like that. Got a couple hooks here for towels and we also have a your GFI plug right here. Down below, look at this storage. Easy access to my water pump, and look, full water filtration. Can you see that in there? That's where our full water filtration, we filter all the water that comes into the motorhome. That's done right there. Over here, look at this. How cool is that? Place for your towels, linens, anything that you want. I mean, that is sweet. Look at that. Absolutely sweet, right? Also done with soft clothes, that's super smart. And, right, we already had one hanging closet, we got a second hanging closet, look at this. Second hanging closet, adjustable shelves, right? So lots of storage, and we're still not done with storage, look at this. Storage, look at this, full drawer extension glides. Look at that, close into place, another one. And 
a nice big deep drawer once again all done with soft clothes and look down here we've even got heat in the bathroom with our truma vario furnace seriously this is the ultimate two-person motorhome big bathroom big galley area and i mean big galley area two hanging closets lounge chairs power lounge chairs great big murphy bed that is 75 inches long 65 inches wide lots of room for sleeping pop-up tv 40 inch tv smart tv absolutely great optional outside tv the chairs turn and swivel become part of the motorhome absolutely fantastic and i can't wait to show you what powers this motorhome down the highway the ford transit 350 hd chassis with optional all-wheel drive Let's start off with the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. 11,000 pound GVWR, 15,000 GCWR, 310 horsepower, 400 foot-pounds of torque. We pair that with a 10-speed automatic transmission. It also has auto start and stop technology, which is very nice. You can also order the chassis with optional all-wheel drive. On the 10-speed transmission, I've got little buttons here so I can upshift and downshift my transmission and still keep my eyes on the road. So if you're going up a hill, you can downshift a little bit. And once you get up there, you can put it back into the 10-speed overdrive transmission and let it roll down the highway. Lots of power. I suggest that you set the cruise control. And speaking of the cruise control, you have got adaptive cruise control, which is great because if somebody's slowing down in front of you, it'll slow you back away from them. We have TPMS, which is tire pressure monitoring systems. You can see it up here on the screen. It has electric power assisted steering. I don't know if you've ever driven with that, but you can almost drive it with your baby finger going down the road. I don't suggest you do that, but you want to have two hands on the wheel, but it's super easy to drive. I absolutely love it. I love the 12 inch monitor and it's got sync four on it android auto apple carplay pretty simple to do you've got lots of charging ports up here this is my main plug here so if i want to plug in and use apple carplay i can do that right here there it is there so i've got now got apple carplay easy to use and it feels like you have an ipad right there it's very cool so you can scroll through the different things you can do your navigation you can uh, get local restaurants you can get gas station things like that your phone is all set up in 3d you can see here now you can see exactly where we are where we're going and then you can go to the ford we also have some other settings here from ford as well you have different mobile apps it also has built-in navigation so you don't have to use the navigation system off your phone you can use the uh, sync 4 navigation system which works great languages you can set temperature units you can go from kilometers to miles per hour. You can go from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Of course, we have air conditioning built into all of our motorhomes, which is all set up like they're all automatic. 12 volt charging port here, USB charging port here, USB-C charging port here, and another 12 volt charging port here. So lots of charging, lots of room in the cab too. We got our map lights right here for little lights, little storage areas up here. I absolutely love it. I love the handle for getting in and out of the motorhome. We also have tilt steering, telescopic steering, once again, power assisted electric steering, which is absolutely fantastic. We order all of our chassis with a 178 inch wheelbase. So you have less overhang between the rear wheels and the back of the motorhome. So less bounce, right? Lot smoother to drive, more stable, absolutely. And all the transit chassis come with four wheel disc brakes. We also have aluminum rims. We order directly from Ford. Both of our chairs turn and swivel. We order that option on all of our transit chassis, all done in all Ultra fabrics. We redo these seats so they're super comfortable to sit in and drive down the highway. Ford has lots of safety features that they've added to the Transit chassis that we order on all of our Wonder Motorhomes. It's got traffic sign assist built right into the dash so I know exactly what the miles are per hour in an area. We have Secure Lock, which is an anti theft system. We also have active lane keeping assist with driver alert so if you've been swerving out of your lane a few too many times you're going to get the old pull over have a coffee take a break which is really important because hey you're rving we're in no rush to get anywhere sos post collision impact braking as well forward front collision warning side wind stabilization that's a great feature to have it's very breezy here in florida right now so i love that feature it'll break the motor home keep everything under control slow you down Pre 
free collision assist with automatic braking, which I really love, and post-collision braking as well. High intensity headlamps with auto high beam. We also have fog lights in the chassis. The black grille looks absolutely fantastic. We've also got rain censored windshield wipers. Very cool. So they'll automatically come on when it starts to rain. Two AGM chassis batteries for starting the engine. There's lots of little convenience features, you know, little cubby hole here. I love all the drink holders. There's a couple in the doors, drink holders here, drink holders up here, another drink holder down here, mirrors, which are heated, and I can adjust them over here, power windows as well. Nice steering wheel, leather steering wheel, feels real good. I like the size of it. On the speedometer area here, you have some controls as well. So you can have your miles per hour, you can flip that over to kilometers too for our Canadian customers. It'll also show your fuel economy right there, current time, you know, how long you've been running the motor. You also have your controls for your phone, if you wanna make phone calls and stuff right here. You also have your adaptive cruise control setting right here and of course compass built right in we also provide all of our new owners two years of roadside assistance it's a 1-800 number it has a concierge service if you run out of fuel if you lock out of your vehicle they can come unlock you get you back into the motorhome that comes standard for the first two years when you get your leisure travel and even if you have one on order join my ltv we have walkthrough videos on how everything works in the motorhome how the air conditioner works how the toilet works all manuals product videos, everything, so you can be really knowledgeable. We also have all the interior and exterior dimensions, plus you can join different travelers clubs as well. We have travelers clubs that have rallies all over the place. Our photo contest that we do every year, which turns into our yearly calendars, we have some great prizes for that. All my LTV members have live chat access to our service advisors, so join my LTV. And this red button right here, this is our subscribe to our YouTube channel button, so when you hit it, you'll automatically subscribe to our YouTube channel. No, I'm kidding, but make sure you do. But this is our hazard lights. If you want to turn them off or on, that's what that red light does. That is one incredible interior on the 2024 Wonder Murphy Bed Lounge. I can't wait to show you the outside of this motorhome. It's just going to blow your mind. Let's start up here. We've got our beautiful courtesy light for getting in and out of the motorhome, our step for getting in and out. And this is really cool. If you're in a tight area, the mirrors fold in. These are heated power mirrors, so they move slide in. So if you're in a tight area, you can just slide into that campground. Once again, we're only seven feet, 11 inches in total width. I love how we have our molded fiberglass. This is our transition area into the chassis. You can see how beautiful the motorhome is. This is all aerodynamic. This is molded fiberglass, fully insulated as well. Hey, let's talk about this. This is a great option. Our optional exterior TV. Got my favorite little lizard on there. Absolutely fantastic. I'm going to love watching this movie tonight. We got Lester the lizard right there. And don't forget, we got our sound bar with streaming Bluetooth as well. This is a nice little option to have. And if you don't want this option, it becomes a storage area, which is really cool too. So nice standard features are outside awning. Boom, awning comes out, built in LED lights. It's gonna come out about 12 feet in length and seven feet in width. It's got a nice fabric canvas on the top. I like that. How great is this awning? Nice big awning when that hot Florida sun or California sun or even Canadian sun, if we get any, is beaming down on you. You can enjoy some nice shade. You can put your table out, put your lawn chairs underneath here. I mean, look at that beautiful view. Absolutely fantastic. Once again, this should be you, not me in beautiful Florida. Now, it also has wind sensors. So if we get a big gust of wind, look at this. Automatically goes back in. Those Class B motorhomes have no storage. How are we going to take anything with us? Well, the MBL has everything. It has storage. Look at this. Nice little storage bin right here. This is an EPDM rubber hinge seal, so there's no piano hinges or hinges that are going to rust, and you're going to have rust marks come down your beautiful paint job. Nope, not happening. And we have galvanized sheet metal, right? That's how we make all of our compartments. They're super strong. They won't rust. Salt doesn't bother them. And of course, we spray foam underneath here, so when stones are hitting it, when you're driving down the road, you don't hear that inside the motorhome. Gives it a little more protection, quiet, right? And look how the beautiful curved door comes across and then look how this door pulls in underneath you see that it pulls 
in, locks in place. Plus, we have our own leisure travel van key for locking all of our doors. It's our switchblade key, really cool. But you can see how beautiful the door opens up. Strut on it so it's not gonna hit you in the back of the head. That's really important. So next compartment over, we have our lithium batteries. So standard for 2024 on all Wonder Motorhomes are two 100 amp lithium batteries. So you have 200 amp hours of lithium. We also have a heater on those because lithium batteries don't like the cold. 36 degrees and below, they stop giving and taking a charge. As you know, we have the heater inside. You just hit that red button. It'll keep these batteries warm and you can be able to use them in uh, colder weather. 200 amp hours. Another nice option to have is the remote keyless entry. We have remote keyless start on the Ford chassis motor and you can also get the optional keyless entry remote for getting in and out of the motorhome so you can lock it and you can unlock it and the door opens up and of course the step comes automatically out which is really cool and then when you can put it in camping mode if you want right here and that way the step doesn't go in and out if you're in a campground area and that saves the motor on the electric step and I absolutely love our beautiful screen door here look at this so now you've got Fresh air coming in the motorhome. Of course, no bugs can get in it, but I like this if you have pets. We've got some bracing that goes across so that you can't come through the uh, mesh if you're outside just enjoying the area and the puppies or the cats got to stay inside. So I like that. So that just closes up. And don't panic. When you turn on the ignition, the step will automatically close. And then right here, we've got another outside patio light, LED. And of course, we have the LED lights in the awning. Plus, we have a LED light here at nighttime is really nice for getting in and out of the motorhome. Awning lights off, turning my awning lights on. You can actually do it off your smartphone as well by downloading the app. This compartment here has our 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Pure sine wave, which is very, very important because we want to make sure all of our electronics have clean power. So when you're dry camping, you turn on the inverter, it switches the batteries to 120 volt and that way you've got clean power in the motorhome. So you only want to turn on your inverter when you're dry camping. That way you can run your TVs, your electronics, charge your charging system. So 2000 pure sine wave inverter standard on all Wonder Motorhome. Let's talk about the construction of the motorhome. We have a great video on our website, the factory tour video. We show you how we make the entire Wonder Motorhome. Vacuum bonded walls, vacuum bonded floor, vacuum bonded roof. So let's just talk about the strength of this motorhome. Because we vacuum bond, it becomes a one piece wall. So you have two one piece walls, one one piece roof, one one piece floor which gives you superior strength also much quieter when you're going down the road right because everything is one composite wall roof or floor full body paint on standard on all wonder motorhomes and each color is painted three times and then two coats of clear you can see how smooth this is how great it is i love the curved wall because we actually mold the the wall when we're pressing it in our press that creates the curve right nothing looks like a wonder motorhome going down the road each color painted three times and then two coats of clear and we have eight different exterior colors this is white suede we have silver Graphite, Shadow, Glacier, Champagne, Eurosport, and Atlantic Blue. So we have a color that you're gonna absolutely love on your motorhome. Check out our build and price on our website because you can actually pick the color of the motorhome. You can pick all the different eight colors. And you can see exactly how they look. Build and price the motorhome with all the different options. It's absolutely a great tool to use and you can do it at home. We have our standard aluminum rims. We order this on all of our chassis from Ford, our transit chassis, aluminum rims. And don't forget, this is a dually, so you've got four wheels on the back, two on this side, two on the other side, of course, two up front. So you have six wheels on the ground, which is super important because it's gonna be more stable. You're not gonna have body roll. If you've got four wheels, you're gonna have problems. Six wheels, absolutely fantastic. Plus you can get optional all wheel drive on the Ford transit chassis. So if you are in some areas where you have snow or mud or things like that optional all-wheel drive is absolutely fantastic plus we've got tpms standard on all of our ford chassis so you have tire pressure monitoring system so you can check the inner and outer tire pressures right on the chassis itself nice option to have is our outside exterior table if you do a lot of dry camping this way you don't have to get a table you can order the table it locks in place in one of the storage areas in the back side here and it's aluminum powder coated so it's going to never rust and it's super strong has adjustable legs as well so you can adjust the legs up and down great outside table on 
dining out, absolutely fantastic. You wanna do some grilling, you can do some electric grilling here. Or we have a propane quick connect down here and you can hook up the propane quick connect and you can run a little barbecue right there. So you know you can run it off the main propane tank, which is 15 gallons, so you've got lots of propane. I think you're gonna absolutely love the optional exterior table. Super strong, as you can see. Have my big whale body on here. Yeah, no problem, I can do planking. Let's plank. Last compartment has our new standard four kilowatt gas generator. So that comes standard on all the Wonder Motorhomes for 2024. So if you're a dry camper, you got 200 amps of lithium, fantastic. You can order the optional solar panels, 200 watts or 400 watts, and you've got a generator that's gonna recharge all those batteries. If you're all electric and your batteries go dead, your motorhome is dead, this way you've got a generator to recharge everything back up so you can go dry camping till the cows come home. As we move our way back behind the motorhome, we have our molded one-piece fiberglass rear mask, right, fully insulated wall in behind here. It's gonna keep you nice and warm and easy to clean, and I mean, it looks absolutely fantastic, right? It's got all the beautiful lines and the design. We got LED lights, LED marker lights. There's our backup camera, right? Works off the main 12-inch monitor on the Ford chassis, so you can actually see when you're backing up what you're gonna hit. <laughs> Try not to hit it. Right here, we've got our 5,000 pound receiver hitch, right? So this is very important to understand. The GCWR, gross combined weight rating of the Ford Transit chassis is 15,000 pounds. The GVWR of the Ford Transit chassis is 11,000 pounds. So if you load up the motorhome to the full 11,000 pounds, it allows you 4,000, up to 4,000 pounds of towing. So that's the maximum towing that you're gonna be able to do on the Ford Transit chassis. Always make sure that you weigh your motorhome before you're gonna tow, and always check all the owner's manuals for towing information before you tow. And then right here, we also have a seven pin connector for towing as well. You wanna tow a car, small boat, a utility trailer, trailer with motorcycles in the back, absolutely. So that can plug in right there. We have our optional ladder here, two piece ladder. We store the second piece in here and you can lock it into place here. That way nobody can go on your roof, right? When you're not around, but I can go up on the roof. So let's come up on the roof. Let's see what we got going on here. Absolutely cool, cool, cool. Well, better than the tree, I'm up on the roof. So this is a one piece fiberglass flex roof, right? You can see that. You can see how there are no screw heads at all exposed, right? We seal them all. That way water doesn't go through your screw head into the roof area. We have optional solar panels. They're rigid panels, right? Solid rigid panel. We have 200 watts or 400 watts. This one has the 400 watts. We've got our WineGuard 2.0 Wi-Fi boosters. You can order the optional WineGuard T4 domed satellite dish that does dish, direct, or bell. And of course, standard for 2024 is the Truma air conditioner. 13,500 BTU air conditioner, pin quiet. You can run it on a 15 amp circuit. It'll run the air conditioner. It's nice and quiet. We're so excited about it. That's standard on all 2024 Wonder Motorhomes. It's not safe to be up on the roof because it's very slippery, especially in cold or rainy weather, right? So be very careful if you come up on the roof. You should only come up on, come up on the roof to maybe clean your solar panels, wash the roof down once in a while, and check all your caulking areas. But other than that, it's probably not great to be up on that roof because we don't want anybody to fall and hurt themselves. Woo! We decided to change camping grounds because we want to get down to the beach today. It took me five minutes to close the campground area and boom, get over here to finish the video. This is incredible storage, stand up storage, absolutely. Small class B motorhome, you don't have that kind of storage. Look at the size of that storage area. Absolutely fantastic. How great is that? Underneath this huge vertical storage area, we have our outside service center. And I love this because everything is basically all in one place. I don't have to fill the water on one side, dump the tanks over on the other side. Everything is done right here, very convenient. So let's start off with the optional macerator pump. So this is a nice little option to have because you can actually pump uphill. Some service centers 
or dump stations are higher than the motorhome. So with the optional macerator pump, it'll pump uphill. Well, that's very cool. When you're dumping into a service station, right, with a three inch line, you put this on, you put that in there, make sure you take off this end on the end, right? This cap's gotta come off before you turn on the macerator pump or you're gonna have a scene from the movie RV, right? Remember that? That's always pretty funny. So make sure you take that cap off before you open up your black valve and turn on your macerator pump. Black valve first, your black tank, and then you dump your gray tank because that washes out the hose. So pretty simple to do. Nobody likes to dump the tanks, but it's part of RVing and we make it pretty simple. And even if you order the macerator pump, we always include the three inch dump hose. So if you ever had a problem with your macerator pump, you can always still manually dump and you're not going to ruin your camping experience. This is your black water flush so if you ever want to clean your black water tank which people do once or twice a year right you want to open up your black valve you want to hook up your hose into a service area and then you want to put in your water hose there and then clean the tank out that way. Over here we have our satellite connection so if you have a portable satellite dish you can take that and plug it in here and watch TV right. We also have a great option of the Weingard T4 satellite dish which does bell dish and direct. If the campground has got a cable center you can plug in cable connection into here and then you would have cable TV that that campground offers right once again here's our macerator pump this is our water pump switch right here so we have four water pump switches in the motorhome and you can turn this switch on and use your outside shower how smart is that so if you're dry camping and you're using your portable water that you have on board you can hook up your outside shower right here and you've got hot and cold running water. I really like that if you have pets, perhaps you're out fishing, you want to clean the fish outside or you just want to clean your feet. You've been down at the beach for the day. I love the outside shower. Now when you want to fill up your fresh water tank, you're going to get a drinking hose, water hose. You're going to run it up through here. You're going to plug it into here and then there's a little switch right here that has tank water or city water. Tank water means I'm going to fill up my fresh water tank on board. If it overfills, it'll just drain onto the ground and if I I'm connected to a full service area then I would hook up my garden hose to here turn that over to pressure water and then you'd have the water from the campground this is kind of cool this is an RV pickup hose or water pickup hose so we have our winterizing bypass valve you get a jug of RV antifreeze you can suck that up through this hose turn it on the water pump very simple and you can then winterize your motorhome or if you're dry camping and you ran out of water and you had a big jug of water and you wanted to suck that up back up into the fresh water tank, you can do that as well. So I really like that little feature that we have on all of our Wonder Motorhomes. And then the Wonder Motorhomes that have the fresh water tank underneath, this is just a little uh, tool that we provide so that you can, don't have to crawl completely underneath the motorhome. You can open up the valve and drain your fresh water tank. Mostly done for winterization purposes and things like that. The Wonder MBL has three Truma products. Products. We've got the Vario heat furnace, which is absolutely fantastic. Pin quiet produces lots of heat. The Truma air conditioner up on the roof, right? 13,500 BTU. And we have the Truma AquaGo Comfort Plus hot water heater. So best hot water heater in the industry, right? It's an instant hot water. So there's two settings on it. It's eco. And when it's on eco, it does not heat this little one liter of hot water and it doesn't recirculate it through the valves. When you have it on Comfort Plus, it'll keep this water water heater nice and warm. It's got a circulation pump that sends water to the each faucet, one in the sink, one in the bathroom, in the shower head. So you've got hot water always running through. So when you turn on that hot water tank, boom, it uses up that one liter of hot water. And then the heat exchangers fire up and you have unlimited hot water when you're at a service campground with your discharge hose in the uh, discharge area. 60,000 BTUs, absolutely the best hot water heater in the industry. We have our sexy frameless glass awning style windows. These windows will open up. So if it's pouring rain outside, you still have fresh air going through the motorhome, our fiberglass fender skirt. Now we've got our 30 amp shore power connection that plugs in there. And then underneath here, we've got our 13 gallon propane tank. So this is filled up by a professional propane filler. So you're going to get that done. We have a gauge here that tells you how full it is. There's also a gauge inside the motorhome. So there's your propane tank right there. And then over on this side, we have more storage. Hard to believe that you could have this much storage. Nice big storage area. You can put your lawn chairs in there. You can put 
put maybe some small golf clubs in there. Absolutely love the dual struts, right? Not gonna hit me on the back of the head, but you can never have enough storage, especially exterior storage. Look at that. Awning style window up front, nice clean lines. I mean, hello, what's this? It's a slide out. <laughs> How stealth is that? How beautiful. Curve slide out. Matches with the curved wall. Once again, vacuum bonded, right? Vectrolite exterior, full body paint, right? Fully insulated. Look how beautiful that slide out is. You couldn't even tell there was a slide out there. We also have a slide topper on it. The slide topper on it is designed to prevent any bird droppings, debris from coming back into the motorhome when you close it, right? Because that's your home. I absolutely love that. You always want to make sure you have a slide topper on it. And we go with a four track system. So we have track top, track bottom on both sides. So the slide out always goes in nice and smooth. Look how many screws <laughs> seal up my slide out box for strength, right? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26 different screws hold the slide out together on both sides. Three system sealing system. We have two bulb seals and a sweeper seal. And when the slide out comes back together, it's sealed tight. Plus it takes the exact same curvature of the body of the motorhome. Stealth. We have our integrated molded fiberglass. Look at how it ties into the chassis. Fantastic. Right? We got our courtesy light for getting in and out, but you're going to love this when you're putting gasoline into this gasoline engine, right? Which is on a Wonder Motorhome, right? The transit chassis is gasoline. Look at that. I can fill it up. No fumes go into the motorhome. Boom. Lock it. Nobody can tamper with your gas. Fiberglass step for getting in and out. Once again, Heated power mirrors slide in out of the way. We have molded fiberglass front top here, fully insulated as well. What a beautiful, beautiful motorhome, the 2024 Wonder Murphy Bed Lounge. If you're looking for a small motorhome, the perfect motorhome for two under 10 feet exterior height, you can take it anywhere you want. Here we are in beautiful Florida, small little campground, absolutely fits perfectly. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bang that bell. I want to thank everybody for watching our YouTube videos. We really appreciate it and for supporting Leisure Travel Vans. More importantly, 2024 is the perfect year to buy an RV and go RVing and be enjoying this beautiful RV setting. You can go anywhere in Canada and the United States in a leisure travel van. They're small, they're compact, they're fun to drive, and you're going to absolutely love it. Remember, there's no exact expiry date on our lives. So if you have the means to buy a leisure travel van and go RVing, I would suggest you do it. Go see your local leisure travel van dealer. Come visit us on our RV show. We have these motorhomes at all the different RV shows throughout Canada and the United States. Dean from Leisure Travel Vans, this should be you.